Doodle bud, when I saw my fellow Canadian fountain pen reviewer Douglas Rathburn from Inquiring Minds click over a million views, I reached out, I said, hey, good job bud, congrats, I want to send you a little uh, congratulatory present, and I said, I'm going to send you a nib with a custom uh, cursive italic grind that I do as a little, hey, there you go, awesome job, but that was like a month or so ago, or maybe it's more, and life just got crazy busy, I'm like, you know what, it's been too long, so I'm going to do one better, and send you a whole damn pen with a cursive italic grind on it. So what I'm going to do is, is uh, I'll let him do the full review of the pen, but this is a fully win model uh, 017. It, it's got this funky little roll stop. I've done a review on this pen as well. I've actually had two of them. I, I gave another one away, the Starry Night, and I've kept this one, the uh, I think it's uh, Danube Blue or Blue Danube, something like that. And also gave this one a grind. So I'm going to do the same thing to this pen. And I picked this up actually from a fellow uh, Vancouver Fountain Pen Club member, uh, Jessica. If you're watching to you know who you are. And this pen now is going to be going to uh, Doug Rathburn. Um, she bought a lot of pens, got a little carried away getting into the pen hobby. And just had a bunch of pens that she just, in this case, didn't even use. I got my Pilot Metropolitan from her. And I picked up this one as well. And it looks, when I started looking at it, I'm like, this sucker has never even been, been inked. Didn't even give it a try. But uh, she bought a lot of pens and uh, need to recoup a couple bucks and to kind of put uh, the madness, just calm her down a little bit there. So I, I couldn't say no to the price. Knew this pen is about 40 something bucks Canadian. I picked it up for 10. So it's a steal of a deal. And I picked it up because I thought, you know, I'll, maybe I'll grind the nib and give it to somebody one day. And uh, so you're lucky there, my fellow pen buddy, Doug Rathburn. This puppy is going to be yours. I don't even know what uh, color pattern this is, but you've got all sorts of cool swirls in it. And uh, yeah, I, I, for me, for this price point, I think this is a pretty good pen, especially 10 bucks. You can't beat it. But it's a decent little pen. Fits in the hand. It posts, you know, not overly secure. So I just, I usually leave it unposted. Um, but yeah, it's a very simple design. You know, little resin pen. Resin pens are quite popular, especially with uh, no roll stops. But some of them I find are, I know there's a lot of work that goes into them, but some of them I find are quite expensive. So for uh, 40 bucks, I, you know, you can't really go wrong. It's got a really nice medium nib on here and it just comes apart super easy. Like just easy piece. I don't know if that's, you know, supposed to be glued in. I don't think so. And then, uh, you know, your nib unit there just pops right out. So this these two here thread into each other and just squeezes on the section and away you go. So yeah, it's very simple, you know, not, not too crazy. Uh, they just supply this. You buy some of these in a batch, you buy this, make this little part to fit in there. You can probably pick that up off the shelf or something. And then you just turn the rest of your body, the pen. So, um, yeah, going to grind this one up. We'll do a before writing sample after writing sample. I'm not going to film the grind. I'll put a link in the description or maybe one up there you can watch i got tons of grind videos you can watch that but i was just playing around and i was uh, just comparing the two now i could have been sneaky and sent this one to doug and uh, not tell him and let's see if we can zoom in and see and keep it a little secret let's find it here because i dropped this one and it cracked but then i put it back to get oh there it is right there you can see that tiny, teeny little crack. So what I could have done is sent him this one and say it's awesome and kept the uncracked version for myself, but I can't do that. But hey, one thing I noticed though, just in playing around, because you know, me and my threads, you know, it spins on quite nice. Let's take the roll stop off. It spins on and off quite nice and smooth. The threads are really good, you know, like just boom, away you go. This one isn't quite as smooth. It's still fine. It doesn't bind, but it's not as free flowing. Maybe it'll change over time, but I can't you know, spin that in. I thought that's interesting, you know, same manufacturer, I think, same pen and everything. Let's try swapping caps. Okay. Yeah. See how that spins on. So the thread bodies, the threads on the body are fine. The, the threads on this cap, watch this. No bueno. Doesn't, I can't even go. So that's interesting to see that much uh, variability in uh, in some of their batches but anyways you know it doesn't matter you keep the right right cap with the right pen but that was just something i found a little interesting so anyways i'm going to do a writing sample do a post writing well we don't will be this nib again but post writing sample so you can compare send this off to doug he can chat more about it when he gets it and we'll leave it at that
So I inked up the pen with some of this Diamine Iridescent Maureen ink. And I'll just do a quick writing sample. I have to say, like, out of the box, this is a medium nib. And it's really nice and smooth. So, uh, you know, if you're not into grinding nibs like most people aren't, uh, you get a very nicely tuned wet nib. Writes quite nicely. So, again, this is the Fully Win model. Uh, 017 and I said you know when I first got the pen the very first version I got inked it up and went wow This is buttery smooth. It's quite nice. What I'll do. I'll just do a quick quote Grind the nib come back do the same quote underneath and we can compare so uh, Quote I'm going to use today is something we all say But it drives me nuts. It's one of those stupid expressions So let's have a look at it So that drives me nuts when people say that. It's always the last place you look. Well, I hope it is. I hope you don't find it and just keep looking for it. So anyways, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a little magic trick for you. I'm going to instantly change this from a medium nib to a cursive italic nib through this magic trick I learned called editing. And just like that, blink of an eye, we now have a cursive italic nib. So uh, let's go through, let's align things up here and compare writing samples to see how they look. So here we go. Let's just go right underneath to see. This is the same model, 017. And then uh, let's do the same thing here as well. Let's get you in close. Oh, we're getting a little bit of that uh, sheen action from the ink, but here we go. You can see I didn't go crazy on the line variation, but it's just got a nice little change. You can see here on the figure of eights, it's a little bit of a thinner cross stroke. And uh, you can see the difference, say, on the printing as well. Just give it a bit of a flare. There's the writing sample, so you can compare the two. And uh, yeah, a little tip. So if you have, say, a, uh, a stub or a cursive italic, something like that, if you hold the pen, you know, straight up and down, let me get the pen out here so you can see what I'm talking about. There we go. If so, if you hold the pen straight up and down and print like that or write like that, you'll end up with the wide cross strokes, thin, sorry, wide down strokes, thin cross strokes. But then swing, turn it 90 degrees, and you write out like this, you'll get thin downstrokes and thicker cross strokes. So you can sort of have an architect grind or the cursive italic or stub, whatever you're using, all at the same time. So a little cool sheen on the ink there. Just nice little difference you can see on the, ah, uh, the focus. Come on, buddy. There we go. You can see the difference there in the writing sample. Just to give a nice little flair. Like I said, I call this the crowd pleaser little line variation but still nice and smooth and a little surprise for you just to keep things interesting i'm going to leave the pen inked when i ship it to you so uh haha <laughs> let's see how much this thing uh if it leaks at all or not or keeps it in the pen it'll be ready to write though so you don't even have to you know ink it up but anyways there you go congrats again doug on uh, all your success on your channel and making fun entertaining videos hope you like the pen hope you like the grind there's a special note with the little the old uh, wax seal I got in there for you. Give you a sneak peek. Uh, got one of those on there too. So anyways, hope you enjoy the pen. And thanks again for your contribution. And as always, we will catch you next time.